Welcome to Kevin's Cocktail Minute. I'm your host, Kevin Postapak. If you were born before 1989, then by definition, you are a child of the Cold War. This drink tonight is about that. Go back in time to the Cuban Missile Crisis, Khrushchev, Kennedy, butting heads, the world on the brink of disaster. This is the drink that Kennedy had when those missiles were coming towards Cuba. And he said, F you, Nikita. It's called the Doomsday Device. Actually, this drink was up for the Nobel Peace Prize for cocktails in 2007, but um, then they canceled that category. So I, I, I could have been famous, but I, think I missed out. So we begin this drink, of course, shaker full of ice, and the secret ingredient is eight or so leaves of fresh rosemary. And I'm gonna take them in my fingers and crush them up a bit to release all the juices and the aromatic essence, and then drop them into the drink. This way, all the things that are poured on top of this will blend all of that rosemary into the drink. The first ingredient is, one time our ally from Russia stole its Naya vodka. We use one part of this. Okay, uh, from England, beef eater gin, London dry gin. Use a half part. This is my most ambitious drink. It has, it's like the UN. All these different liquors from all these different countries. The next couple ingredients are from France. Half part Saint Germain, the elderflower liqueur. Then also from France, one of my all-time favorites, green chartreuse. And this we use only one-fourth part. And everything is blending over that rosemary. And also from France, ginger liqueur called Domaine de Canton. With all these different liquors, this, this drink <laughs> cost a fortune to assemble all the ingredients, but once you get it, then it's, it's really worth it. The next ingredient is from Italy. During World War II, they started out in access power, but then they saw the light, they became an ally. This is uh, Aperitivo Cocchi Americano, um, this is a really good liqueur, and uh, it's the substitute for Kina Lule. So if you want to make a Vesper Martini or a Corpse Reviver Number no. 2 and have it taste almost exactly how it tasted when it was originally created, this is the stuff to use. Aperitivo Cocchi Americano. And it has a citrus flavor with a bitter quinine kind of feel to it as well. And we use a quarter part of this. So all the alcohol is going to be shaken. Now the rosemary is really infusing itself into this. We have all this one, two, three, four, five, six different alcohols in this one. We want to smooth out a bit, so we're going to use uh, my favorite ginger beer. It's called Fever Tree. This is also from Great Britain. One and a half parts fever tree ginger beer. And then the last thing is for color. This is purely for color. It's a, a little splash of Coke from the USA. So we had to be, we had to be in there somewhere. And uh, also the rosemary is from the USA. So that's all the ingredients. Now we're gonna get my little stirry device and stir this up. There. Okay, now we have this beautiful glass that looks sort of like a mushroom cloud at my mouth. There. I'm going to strain this in. And all that stuff in is almost clear. It's kind of remarkable. Now the final ingredient is the rosemary Varnish. The Doomsday Device.